Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey Day Johnson and I'm super excited to do this makeup look for you. This is a gorgeous wine reddish makeup look and it was inspired by my jersey. I am an Asna fan and I absolutely love the outcome of this look. I toned it down with a nude lipstick because the eyes gotta pop. You know what I mean? So free free and tune with me and let's see how to create this look together. Starting off my brows with my Evershine pencil in brown. My brow is usually the fastest thing that I do. I think I should do an updated video on brow tutorial. But for now, let's keep watching. So next, I'll be concealing my brows with my foundation by Maybelline in 355 Coconuts. And I'll also be using LA Girl in Warm Honey. And I'm applying some more concealer on my eyelid. And then I'll be rubbing my spoolie on some uh, foundation, my foundation color to just soften and brighten up my brows a bit you can use a brow gel if you want you actually achieve the same thing make sure you don't put too much so your brows do not disappear looks like i put too much here so i'm going to adjust it just applied a few strokes So I'll go with the brows and we're going to go next to my face. Sometimes I like to prep my face before I do my eyes, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm just applying some of my oil control by Pons. And I'm just going to rub it on the areas that I produce oil the most. And then next is my foundation by Maybelline Super Stay 355 Coconut. I'm just pressing it into my skin with my sponge. No dragging. So I like to take the left of our product and just tap onto my forehead because you don't want to put too much product there. So it doesn't look too cakey. I'm doing the same thing for my nose. I'm just tapping on the left of our product on my sponge on my nose and my forehead as well. Except you need to cover something really serious. If not, let it be smooth. Next, I'll be using my concealer by LA Girl in Warm Honey. And then we blend. Next, I'll be using my Sasha Butter Cosmetic Powder, and I'm just going to use it to 
um, mattify the areas that I, I lighted, then I'll go to my eyes. So I'll be using my Rose Gold Remastered Palette by Huda Beauty. And first I'll be using this brown as my transition color. Next I'll be using this one. Next I'll be using this color called Man Eater. color is very gorgeous but I want the red to pop out a bit more so I'm going to be adding another color to it so I'm using this Juvia's Place magic palette this is the magic mini palette and I'll be using this color just right, applying it right on it's a bit brighter than the other color so right applying it right on top it's a bit brighter than the other color so i'm applying it right on top back to this transition color just to blend out the edges then i'll be going to my sasha butter cosmetic powder to highlight my brow bone So I'll be using my Marlboro pencil to line my waterline. And I'll be using this color to smoke it out. Then I'll be using LA color in black. It is an eyeliner and I really like the cat's eye thing, it opens up the eyes. So next I'll be using my mascara by Zara Cosmetics. So while I wait for my lashes to prep, I'm just going to brush off the excess powder. Next, I'll be using my Milani powder in Warm 109. I really love this powder, it gives me a matte finish. Next is my Super Stay Powder in 375 Java by Maybelline. It is very dark, so I'm just going to apply very little to contour my cheek, the side of my head, and my chin. On top of my head as well. I think I should do a tutorial on how I fix my lashes with my fingers. I'm really used to it. I only use tweezers, but I use tweezers for my clients and sometimes my fingers. As long as your fingers are clean, it's okay. I really love Maybelline products. Well, they produce good products. So I'm using their Master Chrome Highlighter. It's really nice and gorgeous. Ooh, the glow is real. Just a little on my brow bone. Rubbing off the remaining products on my forehead. 
Next is my blush by Classic Makeup. It's okay to brush down the excess if there is any. Here are another lippy that needs to go with this look because my eyes are popping in red and I'm wearing a Asna jersey in red. So it's a nude lipstick. So I'm using my go-to lip pencil in brown. It is by Zaron Cosmetics called Cupacino. Okay, now I'm using this sweet cream matte by Jordana. It is called Cinnamon Toast. And right on to my lipstick by Milani. It is nude and it is called Oti Brulant. Next is this clear lip gloss by Classic Makeup. And I just set my face with my Rimmel London. I love this look.